Hi gang, Scott here. I've got a tip for you about creating uh, some directional light in Lightroom. So the, the notion of something off camera that's kind of sending some light into a scene. I did this with sunlight, a sunlight look, and a little bit of warmth. This is a technique I've described in the past, but now with Lightroom's newer masking tools, you can kind of take it to the next level and really shape and craft things. So I want to show you the, the buildup of this particular uh, look here uh, on this photo. And um, let me just begin with opening up the masking area. I have a lot of different masks here but it's this top mask that's adding this this sunlight kind of thing let me just turn it off before you can see I've got the warmth is removed and the, the notion was to have this light kind of cascading in from the right side that opens up to the uh, the outside there and that's where the lights coming in from and then after just adding that hint of warmth but only having it show up in this center area where is that that opening to the outside world is present so how did this get built up? Uh, to really see it in action, I'm going to do this. Let me zoom out a couple of notches because we're simulating an off-camera light source, which means we need to work a little bit off the canvas here. So let's open up this, uh, this entire mask. You can see I have four different things going on here. And let me turn them all invisible except for our radial gradient. This was our starting point. So here is the radial gradient, and the notion is the sun is, you know, the sun or you know, my the light source, in my case, the sun. It's somewhere off to camera right. It's going to be streaming in through this area, and I guess technically speaking, through this little archway here as well. I hover over that. We can see, all right, we've we've kind of simulated that. We have this light reaching in from the right hand side, but it's covering a whole lot of stuff that it shouldn't cover. That wouldn't happen in the the, the real world, right? We wouldn't have this light bleeding in everywhere. Right? If I turn this off and on before and after, that warmth indoors inside the corridor in here does not make sense. Uh, but my initial focus was actually out in this space here, so I turned to the next bit, which was an intersection with a luminance range mask. Now, if you watched a different video I did on some of these masking techniques, an intersected mask shows up as a subtraction. But let me first select that luminance range mask. You can see where really biasing it up toward the highlights. This is where I want affected in a nice gentle fade down to pretty low in the shadows, but really simulating that notion of soft gentle light coming in, but really only affecting the upper parts. And if I hover over that, we can see that the luminance range mask is really targeting those bright spots. The deep shadows are not affected. The shadows cast by the pillars, like down in here, these areas, that is affected less. And the sum total, right, we have this radial gradient, then we have the range mask intersected the two when I hover over our main mask. Now we're getting somewhere. Look at that center area. There's a lot more nuance in that, that mask in the center. The, the, some of the brickwork and the arches underneath are not getting that warmth effect. I still have a problem on the right hand side though, right? I still haven't dealt with that portion of the photo. Well, another uh, intersection, or in this case, uh, subtract with a gradient. So let's turn that on and we'll see. Here we go. Simple hover over that. We're removing everything from this half, uh, this third of the photo, right? So simply just taking all that away. Now the sum total is this area. Okay. Great, we've got that nice gentle fade there. I might actually creep this in just a bit more. So I'm only catching the tail edge of here. And it gets to be, it's believable. If I really want to get uh, very precise, I probably do a little painting work on that under part of the archway. But I'm pretty happy with what that's got there. There is the, the final mask. The last bit, this brush, turning this on, you'll see that just in that little archway because, as I was saying earlier, the sun is coming in from the right-hand side. Well, there is a space there. There is that arch where, uh, you know, just where out of, uh, out of frame where I'm standing. There's light that's going to be coming in there. So added some with a partial strength brush, but not full strength. 
uh, to keep things balanced. I want the photo to be natural looking, believable, paying attention to what the light sources are and where those light sources would land, uh, but didn't want to have total warmth in this, this arch here. That ends up being the sum total, and I think I will do a little more brush work to kind of take things out of this archway. I'm kind of pointing and not brushing right now so that I have a, a very well refined and finished image. But that sum stack up of using a radial gradient to simulate an off camera light source and then start intersecting it with other range masks, luminance range mask in particular helped for this photo. You could do it with color range masks and then shaping it accordingly, gradients, brushes, and so forth. A lot of power in these new Lightroom masking tools. And so you can take a lot of your masking techniques you used to do and bump them up to the next level. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.